Today, we're looking at the E-Flight UMX Pits. This is a scaled down model of the E-Flight Pits, which is quite a bit larger, and that is a scaled down model of the full-size Pits. I may be a little biased when I say this is my favorite aircraft because I've actually flown in a Pits, and let me tell you, this is an exact replica of the real deal. You can see even the finest details like the ribs and the wings are present in this scaled down model, which is just super, super realistic. I got the bind and fly version, which you can find in the link below if you want to check it out. So this guy comes fully assembled right out of the box. All you have to do is throw in a battery. So I've got two of the 200 milliamp hour 2S 7.4 volt 30C batteries. I'll also leave a link to these guys down below because I'm getting between 10 to 15 minutes of flight time per battery with this guy. To put in the battery, there's like a nice little hood that is magnetically attached that just comes off. Then you plug the battery in and there's some Velcro to keep it stable. It comes with an E-Flight 3000 kV brushless motor, which let me tell you, has some serious power. This guy can go vertically straight up with no problem. So I've had a ton of fun flying this guy, but let me tell you, it is definitely not the easiest aircraft I have ever flown. It took a while to get used to all of the controls, and I think partly because of the design of the pits. It's a very kind of chunky build. It's not an excellent glider. That's partly why um, it is a little more difficult to fly. I've been flying RC airplanes on and off for about five years, and I'm definitely not an excellent pilot, but I kind of have a general understanding of how airplanes work and stuff like that. Um, but after, I'd say, about five hours of basically just crashing this guy, I finally have gotten to what I would call a proficient level of flight. And when you get to this level of semi-mastery, it is super, super fun to watch and just looks so graceful. I've actually um, been working on my landings, which I've never been able to successfully land an aircraft before. And when this guy does it, it is so graceful. I mean, it just gives me chills. It's just absolutely beautiful. So with that said, something that I really look for is durability because if you're not an excellent pilot, you're gonna crash this many times. And I've taken some pretty hard beatings and most of the time it comes out just fine. I have noticed the two pieces that connect the top and bottom of the wings on the sides here that's made out of a very thin styrofoam and that has broken several times. And I've actually flown with it broken a couple of times and haven't actually noticed too big of a difference. So I kind of think these little pieces here are just for aesthetic looks, which I mean is cool. But if you have any kind of impact on either side of the two wings, it's probably going to break, which is a little disappointing. Right out of the box, it was trimmed perfectly. I didn't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. And still, even now, after crashing it about a hundred times, re-gluing, both the top and the bottom wings and a bunch of other pieces, um, it still flies perfectly fine with like literally no trim. I was really pleasantly surprised to see how well the aileron kind of system works mechanically here. I have had zero issues with it and it seems like it's a pretty complex system dealing with um, both the top and the bottom wing. So far I haven't had any problems with that or with the rudder or elevator. Everything has been working super great, which is really awesome to see. So basically this model pits is for any RC pilot who wants to fly a very detailed, high performance pits. Once again, the link is down below if you want to check it out. I'm going to take this outside right now for another flight because it's just so much fun. That's all I've got. Thank you for watching and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.